Hi, this is Teacher Anthony, and I'm going to be having a series of tutorials on some selected topics in high school mathematics. This is after discovering that many students are having challenges solving problems related to mathematics. I'll use these tutorials to make it as applicable to real life situations as much as possible. I'd like to use these tutorials to be able to help them solve these problems that they may come across. And you are going to enjoy the lessons as well. And so without further ado, let's delve right into it. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the volume of a frustrum, of a cone. You draw the diagram, the shape of a cone. This is how a cone looks like. Frustrum, this cone. You, have, you notice that it has a bigger circle and a smaller circle okay so I already did some measurements and I was able to find that uh, the big circle the diameter of the big circle is 12.5 centimeters 12.5 centimeters and then uh, the smaller circle, smaller circle I found uh, the diameter was 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters, and then the slant height for this frustrum, slant height for this frustrum is 12 centimeters, so from here to there is 12 centimeters. Always make sure that you extend so that it forms the shape of a cone. Okay. Now, with this shape of the cone, we do not know the distance from here to here. In other words, the one, the part that the tip that has been extended, we don't know the distance. Okay. So, because we don't know the distance, then let's call it x centimeters. Now, the formula for getting the volume of a cone is V, which is volume, equals a third pi r squared h. Okay? So we do not know at this point the value of h. We do not know the value of x. But we do know the value of r, which r happens to be the radius of, uh, the, it can be the radius of uh, the, uh, of 10, which is uh, 5, the small circle, which is 5, or the, uh, the radius of the big circle, which is 6.25. But because we do not know the value of x and the value of h, h will happen to be the height, the perpendicular height of the cone. Okay? So, in short, what we're trying to do is we need to find the volume of the whole cone. Okay? The whole cone represented by the part that we, we extended. And then uh, we need to find the volume of the small cone which is the small extension there, seen by the dotted lines, even from the uh, diagram. Now, to make it more, now more uh, visible and practical, we need to draw the triangle of this uh, uh, cone that you're going to be calculating. So my diagrams are not that accurate. So the distance from here to here is 12.5. So the distance from here to here happens to be 6.25 centimeters. 6.25 centimeters. And then the distance from here to here uh, is 5. And the distance from here to here is 5. And then the slant height is from there to there 
for the first term is 12 centimeters and then the small cone we don't know the distance is x centimeters green so we need to find out uh, because it's a right angle triangle we need to find out and then uh, we need to find out the value of x of course and also we need to find the value of the height let's call it h a big h height for the big the big triangle the bigger triangle let's call the height no h which we need to find out so the first step is we need to find the value of x h represents the height of the big triangle okay let me draw it again so that you can see it well here this is h of the big triangle and then we say that the, from here to here is x uh, is 12 centimeters sorry about that my mouth is a little bit you know it's a little bit jumbled up because of the space this is 12 centimeters this is x centimeters so we do not know the value of uh, at this point x so that's why now we apply another method or what you call the linear scale factor I'm saying linear scale factor because we have two similar triangles okay we have this triangle here and this triangle so we'll use the radius the first radius we're going to say is the bigger uh, the bigger radius which is 6.25 over the small radius which is 5 uh, centimeters so linear scale factor equals to 1.25 Next step is, we are going to apply this one, this same concept, to find the value of x. This is how you do it. You now come and say 1.25 equals the whole height here, the whole slant height of the big cone is 12 plus x. 12 plus x over the slant height of the small uh, triangle which is x okay all right now we find that the value of x equals to 48 so you now notice that the this uh, slant uh, height the slant height of the small triangle is 48. Let me, uh, let me represent slant height. SH for bigger, bigger triangle is 60. And then SH represents the big triangle, the slant height, which also is the hypotenuse of the larger triangle. SH in small caps is the hypotenuse for the small triangle okay so having found now what uh, the slant height is now it's easier now to find now the the vertical height which you're going to use now to find the volume of the cone so being faced with this situation here let me draw the, the diagram so that, so so that now you can be able to let me draw this one so that you can be able to find the hypotenuse of uh, uh, find the height of the big triangle H capital H uh, using Pythagoras theory uh, from here to here we know is 6.25 from here to here we've seen that it is 60 so using Pythagoras theory very quickly we know this capital H squared equals minus 6.25 squared here is 59.673 6 I'm just 
trying to round off the decimal point and then the slant height for the bigger triangle for the smaller triangle let me draw it this is 5 this is 48 so the small h so h squared is equals to 48 48 squared minus 5 squared equals equals uh, small h equals 47.73389 so that is the height of this one so having found out the height it's now going to be easier to find now uh, the volume the first step is we need to find the volume of the of the big cone the whole of the cone we need to find the volume of the whole cone which we we'll, uh, put it as capital V capital V is equals to a third using the formula there times 22 over 7 times 6 6.25 6.25 squared times h h we found that was 59 for lack of space let me write here 59.6736 equals 2442 okay so that that is the volume of the big cone the whole cone okay now let's find with a small v the volume of the smaller cone. Small v, v equals a third times 22 over 7 times 5 squared times 47.73. Seven three eight nine equals one thousand two hundred and fifty point three centimeters cubed. Okay, the volume of this first one is simply uh, taking the volume of the big cone minus the volume of the small cone so volume volume of frustum equals volume of big cone is 2442 minus again the reason why I'm trying to squeeze it is because of space 1250.3.0 centimeters cubed centimeters cubed we get 1191.7 centimeters cubed and that is the volume of uh, the frustum and this is how you get the volume of a frustum so thank you for tuning in, see you next time.